China's $66 trillion plan for the moon involves an ambitious strategy to dominate lunar exploration, which includes sending humans to the moon and establishing a long-term presence there. China has already made significant strides in this field, as seen in its robotic missions to the moon's surface in the early 2000s, demonstrating impressive capabilities. Although these missions were just the beginning, the truly groundbreaking efforts are still to come, and if everything proceeds according to their timeline, the next decade will be revolutionary for space exploration. In 2029, China plans to send its first crewed mission to the moon, which will coincide with the 80th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China, marking a historic moment for the nation. This anniversary holds immense patriotic significance for the Chinese government, similar to how Americans celebrate Independence Day. And this mission will be an opportunity for China to showcase its technological prowess and reinforce national pride on a global stage, making it a symbolic move aligned with one of their most patriotic celebrations. To achieve this monumental goal, China has meticulously planned and developed the necessary technologies, including the Long March 10 rocket, which is currently under development and expected to have its first test flight in 2027. Unlike the experimental Long March 9 concept, the Long March 10 uses well-established Chinese rocket technology, ensuring faster development. This 90-meter-tall, three-stage rocket is equipped with side boosters and a central core, all powered by advanced engines, with a design and functionality resembling SpaceX's Falcon Heavy. However, China aims to make the Long March 10 reusable, and instead of landing legs, they plan to catch the boosters using a unique system of tight RPP-like wires. The next vital component is a spacecraft named the Mango Capsule. This 20.6 metric ton vehicle is designed to carry three astronauts to the moon and back, representing a significant upgrade from previous Chinese crew capsules. The Mango spacecraft underwent an uncrewed test flight in 2020, and full operations are expected to begin in 2027. The third crucial piece is a lunar lander, which will weigh around five tons. This lander will transport two astronauts to the moon's surface and back to lunar orbit. Since the Long March 10 rocket can only carry 27 tons to lunar orbit, the mission will require two separate launches, one for the spacecraft and another for the lander. Once in orbit, the two vehicles will dock, allowing the astronauts to transfer to the lander for their descent to the surface. When China's astronauts finally step onto the moon in 2029, they will follow a similar script to the Apollo missions of the 1960s. Their initial visit will be short, lasting just six to eight hours, during which they will conduct experiments, collect samples, and plant the Chinese flag. Afterward, they will ascend back to orbit, rejoin their crewmate, and return to Earth. To assist the astronauts, China is developing innovative technologies, including a new lunar EVA suit, demonstrated in 2023, designed for maximum mobility. Additionally, they are working on a compact lunar rover to enhance exploration. This rover can unfold from the lander and transport two astronauts across distances of up to 10 kilometers. While NASA's Artemis program plans to return humans to the moon by 2026, its timeline appears less realistic compared to China's well-documented progress. China has steadily advanced in robotic exploration, particularly in areas like the moon's far side and south pole, where no other nation has ventured as extensively. Their Chang'e missions, such as Chang'e 6, which successfully returned soil samples from the moon's far side, have demonstrated China's advanced capabilities in space exploration. The lunar South Pole is particularly intriguing due to its potential water ice reserves, which are crucial as water on the moon can be split into oxygen and hydrogen, providing breathable air and rocket fuel. China plans to launch the Chang'e 7 mission in 2026, which will deploy a lander, rover, and small robotic hoppers to study permanently shadowed craters where water ice is likely to be found. By 2028, the Chang'e 8 mission will introduce groundbreaking technologies, including a 3D printer that can transform lunar soil into construction materials. These materials will be used to build simple structures on the moon, marking the first human-made constructions on another celestial body. 
China's ultimate goal is far more ambitious than just landing astronauts on the moon. They aim to establish a permanent lunar base called the International Lunar Research Station (ILRS) by the 2030s. This base will start as an autonomous robotic installation at the South Pole and gradually evolve into a hub for scientific research, resource extraction, and potentially human habitation. The ILRS project involves five key missions between 2031 and 2035, each contributing critical infrastructure. These missions will establish energy and communication systems, research facilities, and technologies for utilizing lunar resources. While initially planned as a collaboration with Russia, the ILRS has now expanded to include other international partners, such as Pakistan, the UAE, and several countries from the Asia Pacific region. To support these ambitious plans, China is also developing a new super heavy rocket, the Long March Ninth. This rocket has undergone multiple design changes, but is now envisioned as a fully reusable system, similar to SpaceX's Starship. The Long March Ninth will play a pivotal role in transporting the vast amounts of equipment and supplies needed to sustain a permanent presence on the moon. China's approach to lunar exploration is methodical and strategic. They are not merely replicating the Apollo missions, but are building a foundation for long-term dominance in space. By combining human exploration with advanced robotics and resource utilization, China aims to secure a leading role in the next era of space exploration. While challenges remain, their progress and commitment suggest that this vision is well within reach.